Hello, friends, and welcome to another episode of Cycling Insider. You see, recently I got an interesting question about uh, Rose X Light 6 Ultegra road bike. So in this episode, I'm going to give you the buyer's guide for this Rose bike. And also at the end, I'm going to give you my opinion. Should you just uh, go ahead and buy this bike or should you just uh, consider this bike? So you see, Rose bikes are a very famous uh, German bike brand and they have a tradition of over 110 years. They are based uh, in Bocholt in Germany. And when you look in Europe, you can see a lot of Rose bikes uh, being ridden. But if you move, move out of Europe, especially US and other countries, I haven't seen uh, Rose bikes uh, so much on those markets. I believe definitely that um, Rose should maybe work a bit more on their marketing department to kind of spread the word about their bikes because they do some very interesting road bikes. So as I said, in this episode, uh, let's focus on the buyer's guide for the Rose X Lite 6 Ultegra road bike. So first thing first, uh, let's answer the question, who is this bike for? So you see this uh, Rose X Lite platform is all about lightweight uh, climbing machines. Of course, for this season, they've already incorporated a bit of uh, aerodynamically optimized carbon fiber frame and the fork, and also some other pieces on the bike, like the usual stuff of the handlebar stem and the seat post. But this is the classical trend that all road bikes are going forward. Definitely don't expect this bike to be you know relaxed the geometry it is as i say on the lightweight stiff uh, climbing machine retail price of this bike is 4200 euros and uh, if you want it to be shipped uh, in us you have to add another 250 euros so definitely a bit of you know eye watering price 4200 euros but let's see when we dive into the specifications of this bike what do you really get also one more thing i need to mention here uh, at least you have a choice of two paint schemes one is this beautiful in my opinion kind of metallic green with a hint of um, gray and white and then you have a very classical one which is uh, totally blacked out bike, uh, not my cup of tea, but um, I would definitely focus on this kind of Borealis green and the chalk uh, paint scheme. So let's see <clears throat> what are the key specifications of this bike and what do you really get for your uh, hard earned money. As always, uh, let's kick off with the frame and the fork on this bike. So the frame is a carbon fiber frame from Rose, their x Lite series carbon fiber frame. And the same thing goes for the fork. So this is a carbon fiber frame with the press fit bottom bracket, PF86, 12 millimeter through axles, both front and the back. And also there's a flat mount uh, disc brakes. Rose bikes uh, offer six years warranty on their carbon fiber frames and the forks, which is just, you know, decent, nothing special. When you look at other bike brands like, you know, Giant, uh, Trek, uh, Specialized, um, they can offer a lifetime warranty. And uh, of course, it would be nice that Rose could also step it up and offer a lifetime warranty. But it is what it is. When you look at the wheel set on this bike, so what do you get? You are getting a very classical <clears throat> Rose owned brand of wheel set. So this is the so called um, Rose R30 disc uh, wheel set. This is a classical aluminium wheel set, aluminium rim with uh, 31 millimeters height, and it is a tubeless ready wheel set. It comes with uh, 24 SAPIM spokes, but I'm not so sure about the hubs on this wheel set. So please do check with the. Uh, Rose bike dealer, uh, which kind of hubs are included on this wheel set. But uh, long story short, uh, I'm not expecting anything special from this wheel set. This is probably going to be around uh, 2000 grams for this wheel set. And uh, as always, once when you destroy this wheel set, I would uh, strongly recommend you to have a look at DT Swiss wheels or, for example, Zip wheels or Bontrager wheels. You can get uh, great, great uh, carbon fiber wheels for about 1000 to 1500 US dollars. This wheel set on the bike is wrapped in Schwalbe Pro 1 TT tire. This tire, of course, tubeless ready tire, a 28 millimeter tire, which is great. It's going to give you a lot of air volume and a smooth ride. And even in the future, I would keep it as a 28 millimeter tire, whichever brand you like. For example, as I see, the most popular one will probably be Continental. 
Now let's talk about the groups. So what do you get here? So everything from shifters, front mech and rear mech is Shimano Zultegra mechanical group set, 11 speed Shimano Ultegra, which is absolutely superb group set. You won't have any problems with this uh, Shimano Ultegra R8000 group set. Uh, when you look at the crank set, you will also get a Shimano Zultegra crank set, 5236 uh, chain rings, and it is paired with the Shimano Zultegra cassette, which is 1128 cassette. Now keep in mind here that 1128 cassette is going to require a bit more power in climbing some really steep mountains, so I would suggest you here, uh, once when you destroy this cassette, just buy yourself 1130 cassette, it's going to be much much easier to climb all the mountains, and when you look at the rear mech, it is a Shimano Zultegra GS, which means that you can accept all the way to 1132 cassette with no problem. Uh, when you look at the chain on this bike, uh, they are using a Shimano HG601 chain. So this chain is a Shimano 105 level chain, so they have kind of cut a little bit the corners here, it's not the Shimano Ultegra level chain, but personally I wouldn't be bothered with that. Even in the future you can easily use this uh, new Shimano 105 level chain, 11 speed chain, uh, just because it's a great value for money. Now let's talk about the braking system on the bike. So. You are getting a superb Shimano Zultegra hydraulic disc brakes, 160mm braking rotors front and the back, so no cutting corners, and also these braking rotors are uh, Shimano Zultegra rotors, so ice tech, ice freezer technology, excellent heat dissipation and the stopping power, so absolutely no complaints here. Now when you look at some smaller pieces like the handlebar and the stem, so the stem is from Rose, classical aluminium stem, and the handlebar is from Ricci, uh, again uh, classical aluminium aluminium handlebar, uh, Ricci does superb aluminium and carbon, pro uh, carbon fiber uh, products, so you are getting a superb kind of value for money here, and also the great thing is that both handlebar and the stem are separate pieces, nothing is proprietary, easy to replace, easy to adjust your position, this is absolutely superb. Also when you look at the seat post, you are getting a rose carbon fiber seat post with 14 millimeters offset. Uh, so this carbon fiber seat post is definitely going to soak up some of the smaller road bumps, and when you look at the saddle, you are getting a Physique Antares R5 saddle, which is an excellent saddle in my opinion, but if, uh, you know, since saddles are a personal preference, if you got your own preferred saddle, please do keep it as long as possible. I also have to mention here that the total bike weight uh, in this uh, size 57 that I just you know chose, it's going to be approximately 7.3 kilograms, but Rose is mentioning you know plus minus 5%. So let's call it 7.5 kilograms out of the box, and when you add the pedals on this bike, easily it can be about 7.8 kilograms. So it is a competitive bike weight, considering what other manufacturers can do in this uh, price range, but definitely nothing special, because you can always keep in mind that the professional road bikes, uh, when the bikes that you see at Tour de France, Giro d'Italia and Vuelta, are uh, limited to the minimum weight of 6.8 kilograms. So all in all, what is my recommendation for you, considering that the retail price is 4,200 100 euros. I think that you should just uh, consider this bike because uh, 4,200 euros when you look at the competition like Giant, uh, like Merida or Canyon, they can offer similar or the same, you know, components on the bike for much less uh, money than this uh, Rose x Lite. So, in my opinion, just go ahead and consider this bike if you are in the market for the lightweight uh, climbing machine. So I think this is going to be it uh, for today, I hope you like what I'm doing, and if you do, keep on watching, keep on liking, and as always, I will see you soon in the next episode. Cheers!